today I am back at my Nan's house. I came to visit for the weekend and of course I have decided to take on a project. I'm going to be transforming another one of her guest bedrooms because this one needs a little bit of help. As you can see, this bedroom is quite small. It's a box room and it fits a single bed but I don't think we've got the configuration of furniture right. It would be nice to have a bit more flow in this space. And of course, there's just a lot of stuff in here that doesn't need to be in here. So I really wanna declutter the space and give it a makeover. I'm hoping I can surprise my Nan because she really liked the last one we did together and I hope she's gonna like this one too. I am very excited to change the colour on the wall. This is a light blue, but I want to warm up the space a little bit. So I am working with Benjamin Moore today, who are kindly sponsoring this video. They helped me with the last one I did at Nan's house, and I'm really thankful that they're helping me out again today. Today we're using the Aura Matte line, and I've picked Simply White, so I'm excited to see how that turns out, because I've heard a lot of people using it, and it looks so good. And I also picked up the Advanced line for some of the wood trim in here, in decorators white. So we're gonna have fun this weekend. I am on quite a short turnaround time so I think the first thing I need to do is completely declutter this room. Before I jump in I just want to show you a few clips that I shot at Christmas. I was decluttering some of my old boxes at my nan's house and I didn't have enough footage to make this into a full video but because my adorable cousins are in it I just want to pop it in and share it with you because they're so sweet and they are dying to be in one of my videos. So I thought it would go in this one because this one was filmed at Nan's house too. So uh, yeah, here they are to inspect my hard work. Okay, these are my cousins. Hello, I'm Nolan. <laughs> I'm Amelia. And do you remember what my bedroom looked like the other day? Very messy. Yeah, of lots of boxes. Do you want to come and see it now and tell me what you think? Yeah, okay, okay. sure. Wow, I should pay you for this. You're a good actress. <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah? It's better, isn't it? I Ooh, can see the floor again. You, you're so lucky you get a sofa in your bedroom. <laughs> How could you do this in like one day? Yeah. Oh, magic. <laughs> okay, do you want to say goodbye? Bye. Bye. Back again soon. Bye. <laughs> How cute are they? Okay, let's get back to the video. Luckily for me, there is actually not too much in here and it looks a lot worse than it is under the surface because the wardrobe actually doesn't have much in it and the chest of drawers is completely empty. Oh, you don't work anymore. You might recognise the chest of drawers because I just moved it from my house when I moved. Nan said I could keep it here because we didn't have any storage in this room so it worked out really well but it needs to be moved somewhere where it looks a little bit less awkward. I'm hoping we can find a better space for it. The wardrobe on the other hand, although it is quite handy, it is just a little bit big and overbearing for the space and my Nan really wants to get rid of this. So I'm not going to stop her because I'd rather have a little bit more space in the room so it feels a lot bigger than it actually is. With all the decluttering done, it's time to get into the painting, so wish me luck. Trim is done, time to roll. 
You might notice that the walls are somewhat textured. That's because there's a wallpaper underneath that my nan did not want me to remove. So I respected her wishes and I've decided to paint over it, even though it does look a bit like a popcorn ceiling. But you know, with these things, once they go out of style, suddenly they come back into style again. So who knows? It might be popcorn ceiling time again very soon. Nevertheless, I thought I could try and make it blend in a little bit more with a lighter colour and that's where the Benjamin Moore Aura Matte Paint comes in. I was so impressed with how well this covered the walls despite it being a textured wallpaper so there's a lot more of a surface area to cover. I only had to do one coat and then come back in with a few touch-ups afterwards which saved me so much time. Fewer coats means more value for money and the quality of the finish was so lovely. I've got so much paint left I might have to paint another room with it. Benjamin Moore have a vast range of colours in a variety of different finishes and here I'm using the advanced range on the woodwork which turned out really really well. I also love that you can find it in the UK. I got mine from a stockist called Peter Robbins. Good morning, it is day two and the colour on the wall looks so, so good. I still have to finish this door. Don't look too closely, but it's looking really good in here. I'm very pleased. A couple of things you might have noticed. One is I didn't tape every area in this room, only the areas that I really didn't want to touch with paint. There are two reasons for this. One is because I knew I was going to be redoing a lot of the trim anyway, so I didn't need to tape it. And two is because the only tape I had is this one. And I used this last time and I remember that I had a lot of problems with it and I actually ended up hand painting a lot of the room last time because this gave me some pretty jaggedy lines. <laughs> but it looks good. I am getting much steadier with my hand these days, so I'm quite happy to opt for not using tape all the time. Don't come for me tape brigade, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think we're getting somewhere with the room now, so let's get into phase two. This little Lloyd Loom side table had seen a few things, so I just decided to give it a quick coat of white paint just to refresh the color because it had been chipped away at for many, many decades and this made it look a lot more tidy. For the mid-century dresser, I cracked open a window and gently sanded down a bit of the top layer of paint. And this thing has been painted a couple of times. I'm not gonna lie to you, I do regret it. One day I would love to strip it back to the natural wood, but right now I don't have the space or the ventilation to be able to do that. And I really want to finish this project off nicely, so I decided to give it one coat of white paint in the same Benjamin Moore advanced line that I used on the woodwork. If you're doing this on bare wood or laminate, you'll want to make sure that it's primed with a primer underneath, but with this piece, there is already a lot of layers of paint on there, so it was okay. Every time I go to open this door, this happens, and I almost left this outside yesterday and locked myself in, so um, we'll deal with that as well. I think it's time to get this door sorted. So I found this old brass finger plate downstairs. I think it might have come off this door anyway. So I installed that and the handle. I went to go and put the handle on the door and I realized that it looked like it could do with a bit of brass though. So I asked my Nan if she could do that and get rid of the paint that was already on it. And uh, it's come up really nice. Thanks Nan. Let's see what it looks like on the door. Okay, minor inconvenience. I ordered a bed skirt that hasn't arrived, so I have to hottail it to Dunelm and the DIY mobile and uh, see if we can find one. So, 
That is priority number one. That is stuff I took out of the room. Just ignore that. I'm gonna get rid of it. The DIY mobile is actually a VW Polo. Let's go. Don't tell me I need a service. I know I need a service. I'm here. It's so busy today. Why are you all here? What's happening? Home time. Let's go. Okay, now it's time for the styling. After finally getting hold of the bed skirt from Dunelm, I was able to get rid of this blue one that doesn't really fit with the room anymore. I did try to move some of the furniture around to see if I could create a better layout, but I ended up putting it back. It just it didn't work over in this corner. And the rug is one that I had in my old house, so I was able to utilise that too. Non-iron? I don't know about that. I bought this curtain rod to put above the window. However, Nan has informed me that that is an outside wall that is almost impossible to drill into. Which is why last time she tried to get someone to put curtains up, we ended up with blinds instead. So, um, that's sad, but gotta make it work. I ended up picking up a few things in the charity shop that I thought might work in the room. I need to go and give them a wash first, especially this one. This is a plant pot that I got for two pounds. This little trinket dish was 50p. I thought that'd be so nice to put jewelry in. And I found a lamp for the bedside table for two pounds 50. I'm gonna get these cleaned up and see if we can make them work somewhere in the room. I picked this print out from the H&M sale and I really love how it ties in with the colours on the rug. It was kind of an accident, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm really pleased with how it turned out. I styled the bed with a lot of linens that my nan already had lying around, but I did pick up these two cushions from Dunelm in a purple and a burnt orange and I really love how these colours go together. I am obsessed with them, I kind of want them in my house too. I added my thrifted lamp to the bedside table with a thrifted lampshade that had been in my car for a little while, I'm not gonna lie. And then I also added a tall standing lamp near the window to add a bit of height and distract from the fact that I couldn't put up any curtains. If you have any ideas about how I could add some curtains to the space, that isn't a tension rod, let me know in the comments below because I would like to add some, but I don't think I can drill any holes in the wall. Before I show you the reveal, let's remind ourselves of what the space looked like before. It was a blue room which made it feel a little bit gloomy looking and there was a lot of clutter lying around. I hate to say it, some of this clutter was mine so it's only right that I did this makeover and made it nice for Nan. And here is how it turned out. I am so pleased with the results of this project because the room, although very small, feels so much bigger than it ever did before and I'm just pleased that we were able to declutter a lot and create a space that'd be really nice for guests to stay in. I really enjoyed, as always, trying to utilise what we already had for most of this project and just adding a couple of new and thrifted items to really make the space pop. And I think we managed to do this with quite a small budget. The next things I'd like to do, if I have time, 
are to do something with the top of that desk and maybe put some frames or something alongside the ledge next to the bed because it looks a little bit empty. But other than that, I'm really pleased with it and I think Nan is too. I think we're ready to show Nan and see what she thinks of it all. Okay, come in when you're ready. Oh, I can't believe it. It's like a little miracle. Looks a bit bigger, doesn't it? It looks much bigger and so much brighter. I suppose once you get rid of the clutter, it <laughs> make everything look much bigger. <laughs> Do you want to show your handiwork on the back of the door? Go on then. Look at this amazing... <laughs> <laughs> You're a saleswoman. <laughs> Brasso and Brasso. hard work. <laughs> You've done well, darling, so well. Maybe next time we can think about putting some curtains up. Possibly, yes. Yeah. And we need to give this a, a bit of a, a scrub and a beeswax. Yes, so I didn't realise how bad the top of the table was until I know. it got it in because here. I've been spilling water on it. Who's not been doing tidying it? it up after me. <laughs> <laughs> Overall, what do you think? I think it might be a bit of a cliche, but it's absolutely <laughs> amazing. <laughs> thank you, thank you for your input. <laughs> until next time. Bye bye. bye. <laughs>